assalamu alaikum so this is the continuation of the previous tutorial well as you know if you try to download some uh, you know amazing so called amazing themes from microsoft website you will find that you cannot change the icons you cannot change the way uh, your windows looks as uh, most of the themes over there they just got some extra wallpapers and some you know they just modify the colors which is pretty crappy compared to compared to the ubuntu the way you can customize ubuntu so uh, to modify and get some awesome themes um, you got to check my upcoming tutorial but before that let's try to change this icon um, which can be done very easily uh, all you have to do is like if your all the applications are closed make sure you have closed all the applications and then uh, pressed on shift then right click on it you'll get the context menu then you can go to properties and change icon as you used to do before but uh, this could be kind of, uh, somewhat lengthy if you've got many icons and then you have to just right click and do this um, so to simplify it a bit you can go to see users your username app data make sure that uh, you have got um, show hidden files and folders checked and uncheck both hide extension and hide protected operating system files as that's the first thing I do if I uh, go check any windows operating system so go to app data roaming microsoft internet explorer quick launch user pinned and you've got the taskbar over here and these are the icons that were there before I mean I've changed icons but these are the shortcuts basically so what I did was I, got, I visited um, deviantart and downloaded some awesome uh, taskbar icons or you can just download any you know icons even you can check some Ubuntu icons so that uh, who could that be uh, anyways I'll finish this uh, right now so just right click on the uh, you know any of the icons uh, shortcuts change icon now specify the folder so you've got this folder just specify the folder if you have uh, you know copied all the PNG files specify the folder and choose the ICO and before that uh, if you need a uh, PNG to ICO converter I found this uh, pretty neat where is it oh I already have it over here oh uh, yeah Iconifier this application is pretty cool uh, it's got a Mac look um, you just have to you know either drag PNG or ICO just drag a PNG I've got this internet icon so I'll just uh, drag, drag this PNG over here and you can choose uh, the dimensions if you want uh, 32 into 32 for websites and stuff or if you want high quality 128 into 128 pixel uh, dimension um, ICO you can do that and just drag it over here you get the ICO got the ICO over here as you can see you can also batch convert it by dragging a lot of PNGs I'll just do this as you can it's processing it's converting and you got like six uh, ICOs over here and if you don't want to use this application you can even use uh, this website iaconvertican.com which can actually help you to uh, convert or import ICO, PNG, GIF, JPG to high quality PNG and ICOs. Right? It's not a software, you can do it online. And then you have to just, uh, like I said, choose the ICO. Choose the ICO you want and and um, log out, log off, or restart your system. You'll get these brand new icons, or you can just end task your explorer.exe and we restart it and you'll get the icons you want if you have got some awesome you know taskbar icon themes please let me know if it is bluish like this because I'm not getting um, for this it's kinda like ugly if you've got only few icons yeah that's it so peace out the, the next tutorial I'll show you how to completely modify uh, your orb you know start orb 7 orb and also this if you want to modify it and uh, Yes, obviously, this uh, awesome theme. Someone asked me for it. So, yeah, peace out.